All right, we do have a lot to talk about. A lot of stuff went down on Friday. Of course, you guys already know what I'm talking about. We had not just a big Adidas releases, but Nike as well. So of course, we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna jump straight into it. And of course, we gotta head over to the iPad for that. So the first thing, the first thing I think you guys know what I'm going to talk about, it is of course, the 26th of March, which was the Yeezy Foam Runner release. Now, I think the highlight of this release was the confirmed app. I mean, it's not necessarily the highlight, but it's a huge part of this release. Two Foam Runners released on Friday, which was the uh, the MXT Moon Gray, and then of course the Sand Colorway. These two were in huge demand just everybody wanted a pair and it was complete chaos so again in my how to cop video that i made a few days prior to their release i was pretty much saying that this is probably going to be one of those things where we see 30 minute raffles from different retailers and then yeah the day before the release uh, adidas actually announces how they're going to be releasing it they say this is going to be through the confirmed app it's going to be a 30 minute draw uh, and then of course other retailers pop up with their different raffles that all last for 30 minutes so this whole 30 minute idea of releasing a pair of sneakers okay it sounds relatively good okay we're making it 30 minutes that way people have to rush around and they only have a certain amount of time and it's gonna maybe help the people that are on top of things get the pair of shoes but on release day what actually ended up happening was just chaos Nobody seemed to be able to handle this release, not even Adidas themselves. And that's the article that I'm looking at right here. People talking about the Adidas confirmed app. This might be a true contender for one of the worst sneaker release apps uh, that we see. We're definitely gonna need more evidence for that, some more releases in the future if they just completely uh, drop the ball like they did for this Foam Runner release. So let me, let me explain what exactly happened, what exactly went down. So they opened up, well, at least here in the UK, at half six in the morning, which means you have to be in there and you have to try and enter this raffle. And I say try because I personally was literally trying over and over and over again and all I got was errors. So you would just click the enter button, choose your size and it would just say, oops, error. Uh, so to make a long story short, I managed to get in literally the final minute, six, 59 a.m. I finally got my entry in. It didn't help me because I took an L on the confirmed app and uh, that was pretty much the sentiment for the day for me personally. I did have a lot of DMs from people saying that they managed to get a pair, so congrats to you guys. I know I was trying to help out as many people as possible during the day. Pretty much the 25th and the 26th of March consisted of me entering raffles and then wallowing in sadness when I kept on getting emails saying that you lost. So we do have loads of tweets. Welcome to the Adidas confirmed app. Oops, something went wrong. An internal server error occurred. So this is exactly what happened to me and I'm sure a lot of you guys as well. So Adidas confirmed won't even let me sign in. Amazing. Adidas confirmed wouldn't even let me put my payment information in. I'm done. I feel like a lot of people felt my pain. Uh, so yeah, you guys can let me know how you guys did. And a lot of the other places that were holding raffles couldn't handle the amount of entries they were getting, notably end clothing. They crashed. They had to reopen their drawer later on on release day uh, because they crashed when they actually opened it. I think it was the day before or something like that. So end clothing crashed, the confirmed app crashed. Anyway, what happened to me was I pretty much went throughout the entire day just email upon email saying you, you took an L, you didn't get them. And then I gotta tell you guys, this is a crazy story. Okay, so it's it's eight o'clock at night, right? I just, actually it's like half eight, almost nine o'clock at night. I get out of the shower. I'm like a little bit defeated from the day. I mean, you guys know how it is when you've put so much energy into the release of something and you don't manage to get it. So, you know, I'm a little bit down, I gotta be honest. And uh, I'm like, I, got, I gotta go to eBay. So I scroll eBay, obviously looking for a pair of foam runners. I pull the trigger on a pair of foam runners for four times the price. So that takes me down a notch even more. But you know, I gotta get the review out. So you know how it is. So I go to my, my girlfriend, I'm like, listen, can we just go through your emails one more time? Can we just, did you get anything? Did you get an email? Because obviously she entered uh, for my size as well. She goes in her emails and she's like, Nope, I don't think, wait a minute, we won. And I was like, what? So I take a look at the email and it's from End Clothing. 
It's from N Clothing and it says order shipped on the Yeezy Foam Runner Sand. And I'm looking and I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, I'm like shocked at this point. I'm like, damn. Just because of like the, the, the emotional roller coaster that this day took me through from the high to the low. And, and I'm like, oh my God. She got this email at 12 o'clock that day. She could have saved me a whole lot of trouble that I went through that day. But yeah, that, that was my day. I did manage to get one pair after everything. Um, so yeah, but anybody who I managed to help with the information through my Instagram, I did a, a live stream on Instagram as well, answering questions or through these YouTube videos. I'm super glad if you guys managed to get a pair. Of course, let me know down in the comment section if you managed to get a pair or not. But yeah, that uh, is pretty much the sentiment of that day. Now, there is some hope for anybody who didn't manage to get a pair we are getting some more foam runners so take a look at this this is the new colorway that uh, is just around the corner thankfully so this is the mineral blue which is going to be releasing uh, in May 2021 and uh, it's a really dope colorway I think we have seen leaked images of these before now the good thing about this release is that it is coming in full family sizing. So you know you've got your adults, uh, your children's, and then your infants uh, to the far right. Now, the thing is, is when a sneaker, when a Yeezy sneaker traditionally comes in a full family size run, you know there is going to be a decent stock number on that. So anybody who missed out on the Sand or the MXT Moon Gray, and you're looking at the resale price and it being three to four times the price, I do not blame you at all if you do not want to pay that. Like, that is ridiculous price. So it's literally right around the corner. If you want to just hold off a little bit longer, this could be your best chance at getting a pair, uh, or at least the price will come down, and this should be a lot more attainable for a lot of us. So yeah, hopefully, you know, if, if we missed out, hopefully this one will come. I am still going to have a review, hopefully, of the MXT Moon Gray and uh, the Sand Easy Foam Runners coming soon, so stay tuned to the channel. Of course, hit that subscribe button. Join me over here on YouTube. I would really appreciate that. Now, also sticking with Yeezy, we've got the entire April lineup thanks to Yeezy Mafia. Uh, upcoming first for the uh, April lineup for Yeezys is the Yeezy 500 High Frosted Blue. This is coming on April the 12th. So we have spoke about this one. I'm going to show you some detailed images in a minute, but uh, let's keep it moving. The bright blue Yeezy 700, so pretty similar to the Suns. This one here, pretty similar to this, except the top is blue uh, instead of this mustard yellow color. So yeah, this one is coming on April the 17th. And then we have the Inflame Yeezy 500. This one is gonna be April the 24th, another solid release. And then we've got Yeezy Slides. I know a lot of people want the Yeezy Slides. That is also understandable. Um, retail price, $60. It's gonna be a big one. These two look very, very similar to what we had before. They might even be the, the same, pure and core. I think we had Core, so a re-release of Core, and then the new one is Pure, which I think is the kind of lighter brown. If anybody wants a new pair of slides. Now, we do have the orange colored pair of slides coming. Whether that is still dropping in April or whether they push that back to further into summertime, we're just gonna have to wait and see. But as of right now, these are all the kind of confirmed release dates. Uh, for April. Also, uh, some detailed images on those frozen blues real quick because we've pretty much just looked at the rendered ones. So this is what the first release of April is going to look like in terms of Yeezys. A little bit more of a deeper blue for that uh, neoprene material, I have to say. But overall, like, I'm pretty impressed. It looks like a pretty solid colorway, if I'm honest. Like, again, I still like these a lot. They do have, of course, that infinity looped lacing system with the little kind of uh, lace tie at at the end. So yeah, this is a solid one as well. Again, April the 12th. Yeah, we also actually, before we move on away from Yeezy, we've got one more story. Uh, and that is, of course, the next Yeezy release. Ye March isn't done, guys. You think March is done for Yeezys? No, we got one more release uh, over on Monday, which is March the 29th. I believe that's Monday. Um, the, the Yeezy Desert Boot 
taupe blue. So this is the kind of taupe on top with just the massive blue midsole. I'm not going to spend too much time. I just wanted to let you guys know that this one is releasing uh, on March the 29th. Yeah, that is pretty much it for Yeezy. So let's talk about uh, Air Max Day. So yeah, Air Max Day did also happen on the day the foam runners released. It seemed to take a little bit of a backseat. That may just be my perception of the day because I seem to be really wrapped up in this foam runner release. But yeah, something that kind of uh, got announced on uh, Air Max Day was a new Travis Scott collab collaboration. So the Travis Scott Air Max 1. So there was kind of one of those little videos that you get on uh, the Nike sneakers app. And essentially it went through some kind of not really overall looks, but some like kind of hidden looks and details of an Air Max 1 Travis Scott collaboration. So this screenshot over here says stay tuned for more details on the Nike Travis Scott Air Max 1 including availability and release information. So I assume this is going to be coming pretty soon. We do not have a release date as of right now but you know we're also focused on the Jordan 1 Fragment, Cactus Jack collaboration or any of the other kind of rumored Travis Scott drops that maybe this one just completely slipped us and this could be releasing maybe April. We really don't know. I would imagine that they don't let us hang for too long. Now, uh, in terms of a rendered, very, very quick rendered image, this is what uh, this was, this is what it could potentially look like. Now, I do believe it will be a little bit different, but here's an idea of what you could expect from the very vague imagery that we saw in the Nike sneakers app video. Um, some details here. I think the paneling will be a little bit more different. You've got the Nike swoosh, which goes over the midsole. I don't think that's really a thing. I don't know how they would sew that down, but it's just a really rough render. So I would take this image with a grain of salt. But yeah, guys, we are getting an Air Max Travis Scott uh, collaboration, which I think is pretty cool. I think it's a decent, well, very decent silhouette. Uh, and I think a lot of people are gonna be excited. Now, speaking of Nike Air Max Day, here's a little summary of the stuff that we got. Of course, the biggest one, the headliner, is gonna be the Air Max 90 Bacons. Um, but we also got the, uh, well, the US got the Swarovski 97s, or was that the day before? Yeah, that was the day before. But anyway, that was, I mean, ridiculously expensive. Uh, pretty cool looking, I must say, a little sparkly. I don't think I would rock them, but, I'm sure there are people out there who would really like these, maybe similar to the dunks that we saw with Cactus Plant Flea Market. Another release we had on Nike Air Max Day was this one here, the pre-day. And then we got some Vapormax Evos, and then we got this one, which I actually did go for. This was the, uh, do they even have the name? I don't even know what it was called. Evolution of Icons pack closes with this Air Max one. Uh, it was pretty cool in terms of the paneling. I know it had a lot of different details on it that kind of elude to different, again, iconic uh, Air Max sneakers. And then of course the Bacons, which of course I took an L on. I did try and go for them because I did really want these. You know how it is with the Nike sneakers app. So yeah, let me know if you got these as well on Air Max Day, but we do need to move on to some upcoming news, of course. So something that is happening this month as well, just to keep you guys in the loop, is uh, the Off-White Converse Chuck 70 High is getting reissued or a restock. Now, um, I think this was kind of rumored for a while now, and it was only loaded up, I think, on Converse uh, EU or something like that, and then it kind of appeared on the US one, so I think this is going to be a pretty wide restock. I don't really know anything about stock numbers or anything like that, but if you missed out on the 2018 version of the Chuck Taylor uh, Off-White collaboration, then you may get a second chance. But yeah, these are supposed to be restocking on March the 30th, so that is, what is that, maybe Tuesday? Now, another Bad Bunny collaboration is coming through. This time, it is pink. Um, assume this is going to be in April. Do we have an actual release date for these? I don't know, but it, it kind of looks like an Easter egg themed pair of shoes in terms of the colorway. But okay, we kind of know how the last Bad Bunny collaboration did on the forum low. So I actually have a forum low that I'm going to be doing a review on because I think the silhouette itself is clean. Whether you particularly like uh, the Bad Bunny collaboration, I'm not 
that big on it. I never knew who Bad Bunny was before this collaboration, so I'm not that fussed. I mean, the brown colorway was pretty clean. This pink one is not particularly for me. I do like the plain old regular Forum Low, and that is why there will be an upcoming uh, review coming real soon. So I would stay to the channel if you're interested for that. Subscribe. Now, guys, listen. Do you want to make $2,400 to completely stop using not just your phone, but anything digital. So there is a company that is actually out here paying people or at least one person to, uh, they're actually gonna pay you $2,400 if you can survive a 24 hour period without any digital interaction. Now, uh, listen, stay with me on this one. I, I was reading it and I thought it was super interesting because at first I was like, that's, that's freaking easy. I can do that any day of the week. And then I started thinking about it like, geez, how long do I actually go without being on my phone? And I mean, I don't know about you guys, but if you take a look at your screen time on your phone, it may just shock you. It definitely shocked me when I did take a look at it. It is up there. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely give you guys a little challenge. Take a look at your screen time and see how alarming that could be. And, and you can also check what are your most used apps, like how much time you're spending on YouTube, TikTok, whatever it is, it, it can get pretty alarming. So this is a product comparison website called reviews.org and they're offering to pay one person $2,400 if they can complete a seemingly impossible task. To me, this didn't seem impossible. This seemed super easy. But then when I thought about it, it was like, okay, man, maybe, maybe it's a bit of a challenge. The company will allow the person to compile a $200 techless care package in order to pass the time and suggest the person invest in board games, paint sets, a typewriter to accomplish their usual screen-based tasks. After the challenge, the subject must submit screen time reports in order to score the prize. Um, I feel like you need tech to monitor somebody not using tech. I feel like that's how this is gonna work. How much am I using my phone? I think it could really alarm you and it's something that I thought was personally interesting, but we are gonna get back to the sneakers, of course. So the next story we have is on a Jordan 1. Welcome back, Jordan 1s. So, Right now, I'm looking at the Jordan 1 Zoom CMFT Stadium Green. Personally, this is probably one of my favorite uh, Zoom comforts that we've seen uh, this year, at least. Or maybe the London ones were actually particularly nice, but what we're seeing is Jordan brand releasing a lot more of these Zoom CF CMFTs, the, the, the comfort versions of their Jordan 1s. Now this one looks particularly cool because of the materials. This one doesn't seem to be releasing in the US uh, or globally. Right now we do have a lot of EU raffles up. I know End Clothing, uh, 43, Einlab, Hannon, they've all got raffles up right now because these are supposed to drop on April the 3rd. So if anybody out there does want to try this out, it's a dope colorway and I think it's a pretty dope pair of shoes. Another kind of update that we have have spoke about before but we now have a release date is this Jordan 4 it, it looks so good Jordan 4 tech gray man I am after this pair of shoes all out I love Jordan 4s this is a I, I don't know I just love white shoes for some reason and this is like a perfect combination of like this gray the speckled gray and the white and you got the red jump man on the tongue I feel like the execution on this for me personally I don't know what you guys think about this but for me personally I am loving this pair 100% a cop for me uh, and now we have a release date so if you guys know how kind of Jordan 4s are moving this year yes they're they're pretty hard to get of course we have the UNC 4s dropping in April we had the taupe 4s um, so yeah these are gonna be tough to get and I think just the hype on Jordan 4s in general are rising, so you can expect these to get harder and harder to get. But May the 29th, baby, we got the release date. May the 29th, which is a Saturday. Uh, it is gonna come in men's and grade school, and of course, it's gonna be very, very hard to get. So again, um, I would just be on your toes for this one, but I just wanted to say, man, this is one of my, I don't know, I would probably take these over I don't even want to say the UNC 4s, but geez, I might want these more than the UNC 4s. And I do like the UNC 4s. Um, now, we do have one more story. You know how we you know how we end these off? 
Um, this one's a little bit different though. So last week we spoke about the new Justice League. So this one, we're gonna get a little bit deeper, right? We're gonna get a little bit more under the skin here. I want this to be a little bit more thought provoking for you guys. Um, and it's kind of a thought that I had. I was in a conversation with someone the other day and we were talking about, I mean, we were kind of talking about a lot of things like Bitcoin, um, NFTs was a big topic. And then we were talking about blockchain and we had this idea of social media or like a social media platform based on blockchain technology. Now, listen, we're getting we're getting into the weeds a little bit here because it is a pretty complicated topic and you kind of need to know a little bit about blockchain to maybe really comprehend uh, what I'm talking about here. But if you know, you are gonna be pretty interested by this one. So I found this site after the conversation or I actually found it today and uh, there are actually some social medias that are based on the blockchain technology. Of course, with the popularity of, of course, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, and now we're seeing this boom in the NFT space where there people are selling art, uh, digital art for huge amounts of money. Uh, I was started to think about this a little bit more and it's a really interesting idea. So, okay, we kind of all know the, maybe the issues or the controversy around current uh, models of social media. So Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is, and how all of this like advertisement and how it, it's a little bit suffocating in terms of the control of the social media, or at least it feels like it, where of course our data is being kind of processed and used to advertise to us, which again, is kind of the exchange that you make whenever you're into any social media at this point, like you're kind of making that sacrifice. Uh, that's kind of the exchange, right? So think about all of maybe the cons of this, the current social media platforms and how it being based on a free uh, blockchain technology, how cool that could be. Like, especially for content creators, imagine you had uh, content that you wanted to put out there. Well, how about an idea where you put a paywall in front of your content? So instead of people consuming your content and you getting nothing out of it, as a creative, you put a paywall and people who want to see your content are happy to pay that, uh, that money, whatever it is, a dollar a month or something, $2 a month, whatever it is. And imagine if everybody had that and you, you know, it kind of puts a little bit more value into the follow uh, and it's more like, you get a little bit more of a concentrated, invested group of people who are interested in the stuff that you're putting out. You know, they talk about the privacy information and freedom of expression, which maybe could be blurred a little bit through, of course, things like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, I actually didn't know that any of these exist, but they do. Mine's all me peepeth. That sounds terrible, peepeth. <laughs> DTube, Sapien, Endorse, Social X. I haven't heard of any of them, nor have I looked at them up, um, but the idea is what really counts. The, the idea of a social media platform that is based on blockchain technology as a lot of things seem to be moving in that direction, uh, or at least now. Now this could all just be complete words being spoken and dissolved into the air and this could mean nothing, but for those of you who understand this and find this interesting, it could be really interesting. But yeah, that's just a little something that, you know, we, uh, maybe start a little conversation of what you think, maybe the pros and the cons, or even if this is a viable option to social media, you know, like where like the, the people on the platform really create it. I don't know, I assume there's a lot of pitfalls to that or potential pitfalls, and there could be also a lot of pros to that, but it's an interesting idea that I wanted to bring out today and uh, you didn't expect that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for coming through. We're gonna end it there. Of course, uh, I wanna know how you guys did on the releases on Friday. Don't get too down again if you missed out because trust me, I know the feeling. I got a little bit down. I was uh, so fed up with these freaking these apps, these raffles. I, I was I, I was there with you guys, trust me, I was there. Um, but don't get too down because there always is the next one. Don't go impulsively spending ridiculous amounts of money. Hold on and wait because we got a lot of dope stuff coming through. And of course, I'm always gonna be here to bring you the information and to bring you the reviews or whatever. So subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Thank you so much for coming through today. Thank you for liking, commenting, and of course, subscribing. I will catch you guys in the next one. But of course, until then.